Hey guys, it's Ms. Johnson and I'm here to bring you our second notes for Unit 6. This is Unit 6 Learning Target 2. Today we're going to continue our discussion of scientific notation, but we're going to start doing operations with numbers in scientific notation. So when we are um, adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation, if the exponents are the same, that's a key piece there, if the exponents are the same, then we can simply add the coefficients in front of the power of 10, and we keep the power of 10 the same. If the exponents are different, then we're gonna have to convert them to standard form first, and then add and subtract the number, and then turn it back into scientific notation. Um, this method right here, it does, it, it takes a, another second to move the numbers out into scientific notation, but some people, this works every time. So some people just like to do this every time anyways. Um, I will show you both methods and um, you can make a choice. When the exponents are the same, you can make a choice on what you use. If the exponents are different, you always have to convert them to standard form first. All right, um, if we are multiplying scientific notation, we are going to multiply the coefficients in front of the power of 10 and then we are going to add the exponents on the power of 10. So we multiply the coefficients and we add the exponents. And then if we're dividing, we divide the coefficients and we subtract the exponents. Okay, so we're gonna do all of these things a couple of times, so just bear with me and we'll look at them all together. So one thing to keep in mind, we always want to make sure that we adjust our exponent so that the coefficient is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And that's so that we have only one number, only one digit in front of the decimal point. So convert to the correct scientific notation. So this one right here, we're not doing any operation here, but we want to find an error in our scientific notation and we want to fix it. One thing I notice right here is that there's two digits in front of my decimal point. So if I'm going to move my decimal point back one place, that means that my exponent needs to balance that and go up one place. So if you move your decimal point back, you actually made the number smaller, which means you need to make your exponent bigger so that they balance out. So my number here would be 3.467 times 10 to the fourth power. In number two, I have known digits in front of the decimal point. So that means I need to take my decimal point and I need to move it back one. I actually made my number bigger. It was 0.3, now it's three. So that means I need to balance that by making my exponent smaller. So I'm gonna have 3.2523 times 10 to the negative third power. So I take that negative two exponent and I move it down one to the negative third. Okay, let's take a look at number three. I have 353.21 times 10 to the fourth. Again, I have too many digits here. I need to move my decimal point back two places. That means I move up two places with my exponent. So I'm gonna have 3.5321 times 10 to the sixth power. I moved it back two, so I made my number smaller, which means I need to balance it by making my exponent bigger. This one, 2.54 times 10 to the negative eighth, this one is actually correct. This one I don't have to change at all. That one's already in scientific notation. So 2.54, I have one digit in front of the decimal point, so my scientific notation is correct. Okay, so now let's talk about doing some operations. So when I take a look at number five, I see, first of all, these are the things that my eye, that my eye goes to. The first thing I notice is that I'm adding the second thing that I notice is that my exponents are the same. That's super helpful, okay? So all I need to do is I need to add the two coefficients. My coefficients are 0.37 and 4.57. So I'm gonna get out my calculator here. You are welcome to do the same. And I'm gonna take 4.57 plus 0.37 in my calculator, and I get 4.94. 
and my power is going to stay the same. I didn't move my decimal points at all. It's when you move your decimal points that your power has to change, okay? So now in number six, here I'm multiplying. So that's the first thing that I noticed there. I'm multiplying. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply my 2.37 times 3.47. So take your two coefficients and multiply them together. I get 8.2239. And then when I multiply numbers, I need to add their exponents. We learned that back in our exponents unit, when we did things like x to the third times x to the fourth, that became x to the seventh. Well, the same thing is true here. This is an exponent. They have the same base. That was an important thing back in that unit. You know, here you have two bases of x. Here we have two bases of 10. So I'm gonna take the four plus seven and I'm gonna add them together to get 11. So times 10 to the 11th power there. There's my scientific notation. All right, let's do some division. So in number seven, we're dividing things. I have 9.60 divided by 1.60, and I have 10 to the seventh divided by 10 to the fourth. So the first thing I need to do is I need to actually divide those two numbers. Those are my coefficients. Those are the numbers in front. So 9.6 divided by 1.6, and I get exactly six. And then times, here with my powers, I'm gonna take seven minus four and get three, so times 10 to the third power. So when you are dividing your scientific notation, when you're dividing exponents, you wanna, when you're dividing powers, I should say, you wanna subtract the exponents. Let's take a look at number eight. <clears throat> In number eight, I have 4.82 times 10 to the fourth minus 3.45 times 10 to the third. Okay, so I see subtraction here. now. The other thing that my eye notices is that I have a 10 to the fourth and a 10 to the third. I cannot subtract with different exponents, okay? We can't add or subtract with different exponents. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna expand these out. So I need to take this one out four places, one, two, three, four. So that's four, eight, two, zero, zero. And then it becomes minus this one out three places, one, two, three, three, four, five, zero. Now do that subtraction in your calculator. So 48,200 minus 3,450, I get 44,750. Now take your scientific notation back. So I'm here, I need to go back one, two, three, four places. So that's 4.475 times 10 to the fourth power because I moved it four places. Now, we wouldn't have gotten that. If you tried typing 4.82 minus 3.45 into your calculator, 4.82 minus 3.45 is 1.37. Notice that that's a very different number than what we actually got here. So because your decimal places don't line up, if you think about it, this four is in the 10 thousandths place, but this three is in the one thousandths place. So I can't just subtract them the way they are right now because their decimal places don't line up. It doesn't work that way. So we have to expand them out, find our, our difference there, and then put it back into scientific notation. All right, we're gonna do some more multiplication and division here. So I've got 6.0 times 10 to the third times 2.5 times 10 to the second. So 6.0 times um, 2.5, I'm gonna take my two coefficients and multiply them. I get 15, then I need to take my powers and add them, so that's times 10 to the fifth. Now, I'm not gonna circle this because this is not actually a correct answer. Right now, 15 has a decimal point at the end, which means there are two digits in front of that decimal point, and that's not okay for scientific notation. I don't wanna leave it that way. So I need to take this decimal point and I need to move it back one place. But again, we talked earlier about how if I'm gonna move my decimal point back there, I'm making my number smaller, and I need to balance that by increasing my exponent one 
and making it bigger. So 15 goes to 1.5, but my exponent goes from 10 to the fifth to 10 to the sixth. There's your scientific notation. Last one, this one I'm gonna do some division. Divide your coefficients, so 7.8 divided by 1.2, and I get 6.5 there, and then subtract your exponents. So I have times 10 to the fourth. My scientific notation is correct there. I have only one digit in front of the decimal point, so I'm good to go. All right, so that takes us to the end of our notes for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you next time.